to get a little bit uh, political. I didn't believe in Korea or, and especially uh, the Near East over there. I just, I, I feel that we should not have to police the whole world. And I cannot understand how somebody can kill off their own people like they do. I mean, you know, you disagree with me and that's the last of you, but um, that's me. <laughs> I just hope that uh, uh, we don't have to, to do that anymore. So, but uh, that's about it. I uh, live by myself and uh, I'm waiting my time. They say a thousand of us are dying every day, and I'm on that list. Don't know how far down, but <laughs> but uh, uh, that's about it. Does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask? How old were you when you went in? How old was I? I was uh, 18 when I went in the service, and uh, uh, just 19 after I uh, went over to France. And um, it's, I was not the only teenager in the military at that time. Um, what I resented then, and I'll tell you this, did you know that you are not a full American citizen until you're 21? Did you all know that? That is true. You cannot buy alcoholic beverages. We couldn't vote either and get cigarettes when I, at my wage. But here I was, a teenager. I was putting out my life on the line, and I'm not the only one. There's a lot of uh, teenagers that got killed, and I, I resented the fact that, hey, if you're not old enough to do that, why do you have to do this? But that's politics again, sorry. <laughs> Anybody else got any? You brought some books that you, um, Fred. Yes. You brought some books. Yeah. Um, that you, did you want to mention some of those to the kids? Well, uh, yes. Now this, where are you? Yeah. This would, if you can find it somewhere, is very helpful to you because this lists the uh, organizations of a um, uh, infantry division. It gives it's what they call TO and E, a table of organizations with equipment. And it uh, tells what each person does and what they're equipped with down to uh, watches. And um, I have this collection that um, uh, I have compiled for some years. Um, this one is the closest to me. This was written by my battalion commander and I um, uh, did some reconnaissance work for him uh, two, three times and um, it was funny because he'd say, now I want you to go re uh, find out over there uh, such and such and this and that. And he'd give instructions. He says, uh, now this is not a suicide mission. And we'd say, oh, oh that means it is. <laughs> That's true. I mean, yeah. Uh, but uh, luckily, <laughs> it, it um, uh, didn't happen. Uh, this particular one here is the order of battle. This lists every army organization in World War II. Okay. Yeah, it's a, a real good book and uh, heavy too, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, this was is uh, about German equipment and stuff that was um, uh, put together by the uh, army to uh, instruct soldiers as to what, to, what, I mean, you pick up a piece of equipment and didn't know what it was, you could look in here and then tell you. So, uh, let me see. 
this lists all the infantry uh, regiments in the United States Army. And uh, it, what it does, it shows the insignia, the history of them, and uh, uh, where some t in some places where they're located. Uh, this happens to be in infantry. This happens to be the same thing for tanks. They have them for each branch. And um, uh, they're, they're very helpful if you, if you do much uh, looking at. This, of course, my regiment. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, written after the war, and it gives where we went and all of that. And Mr. Paulette, could you talk about the Let's Go? Um, well, the Let's Go, well, basically, let me explain this. The reason this is like this, it is made up of... Uh, uh, Maryland and Virginia troops that trace their lineage back to the um, French and Indian Wars. And you guys know what that is, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> to those that don't know about it, that was the war with the French uh, when the uh, uh, 13 colonies were British and they ran the, the French out, some of them to Canada and who keeps coming back that we don't, but that's something else. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, so troops from both states make this up and um, uh, a funny thing, the, the, gra the uh, blue, which is Union, in the Civil War, they both fought in the Civil War, had two regiments of volunteer infantry. Both of them were the first Maryland. One was Brit one was uh, Confederate, the other one was Union. So and they actually fought each other one time. So uh, that's that, that's history guys. Remember that I get I tell them that this is going to be a history sign, they go, mm, you know. <laughs> but history, I, I'm, I'm a history buff, military history, as you can see. But <laughs> uh, what else to have? This one, you'll probably like this one. This is very in-depth of all the beaches. Uh, it gives who landed on that beach and who was opposing them in by the Germans. So it's a good book. I don't know where you can get these books. Um, you might be able to get uh, see a librarian somewhere, and I, I know where you can get some stuff. I, uh, but not all of it. Uh, are there anybody else have any questions? How uh, you? Was yeah. Training hard? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was training hard? Pardon? Was training hard? Staining. Training. 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 Uh, well, let let me put it this way. Depended uh, on you. Now, if you had played a sport in high school and went right in, then. Maybe it wouldn't be so hard, but they, they put it uh, to you pretty good. And there is a reason for it. If you are in combat as an infantry, infantryman, you will do things with your body that you never thought you could do. Because when the shooting starts and the, and the uh, shells come in, you have to hit the ground. You do not stop and look and see, make sure it's nice and smooth with the, the pillow there. You hit it and you hit it hard. You'll, you'll do things that'll uh, uh, bruise you and uh, uh, actually injure, injure you. 